absolute beginners. This is going to be lesson eight, modeling a simple couch. So this is based 100% on Blender Vitals and his tutorial, I will put a link to it down in the description. But um, he does a really, really cool, very fast version. And I want to break it down into some slower parts and explain some of it. I think his version is model a couch in one minute. This is going to be more than a minute. So you may be starting with your interior design scene if you're building up from the project that we previously did. Um, or if you're just starting in a new scene, of course, this is what it would look like with the default cube in the center. So we can start by squishing our cube a little bit and expanding it um, just using our scale tool and move. So what we want to do is give some more information to our mesh because right now if we were to go into edit mode, we don't actually have a lot of information to edit, right? We only have the six different faces uh, and limited edge and vertex information. So we're going to go in and add some loop cuts. I'm going to add a few in this direction and a few in the other direction. Let me explain. So I've just hit loop cut in this direction, but if we expand this little box down at the bottom, you can actually increase the number of cuts that are going across your object. Um, in the original tutorial, it says 10. You can do 10, you can do 12. It really doesn't matter. Um, we'll do 10 for now that direction. Uh, and maybe I'll click on that and I'll do, I don't know, 12 in that direction. But the more information you have, um, the higher your polygon count, the higher the, honestly, the quality and the details that you're going to be able to put in. Uh, and we're going to put in a loop cut going around the other direction. I'll just collapse that. So at this point, if we hit L, it lets you grab your entire object. Uh, and then what we want to do is go to Edge subdivide. So what this is going to do is just double the number of cuts that we have in each direction. Super cool, very quick, gives you a lot of options just right from the start. Now we want to go and add physics to our cube. Uh, and if you're thinking, wow, I didn't know I could add physics to something, you sure can. Um, and it's a lot of fun and we can actually puff it up uh, and make it into a cushion. So over here on the right hand side, we have our different settings tabs. Um, the one that looks like a particle, as you might expect, has your physics properties. Um, so you can add a bunch of different things and we will get into some of the other ones. Um, and if you're doing like game design and things like that, rigid body and rigid body constraint are gonna be really helpful for you. But for now, we're gonna work with cloth. So we've applied cloth to this cube. What we want to do is go in and tweak some of our details. So you can really get into a lot of different properties here. But um, what we do want to do is scroll down. We want to add pressure. Um, in the original video, we set the pressure to 2. You can set it to 3. Um, I'm going to go 2.5. And we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we are going to decrease the gravity because we actually don't want our objects to fall. So we'll set that to zero. We hit the play button. What did I do? I'm in edit mode. <laughs> if, you hit the, if you go into object mode and hit the play button, you will see your shape puff up and alter. So if you hit play and then pause reasonably soon in the process, um, you can kind of decide where you want that to sit. Um, I kind of like that, but this is going to be a foundation for the cushions, for any pillows, um, and for any of that good stuff. So we can just Command C, Command V, right in place here at the origin. Um, if you hit play, you will see that they both, both puff together. Uh, and you can move things out. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> Command Z for that. Um, I'm going to go back to the start. We can select our cube separately. And I'm going to move that over. Um, I'm going to hit Command V again. Again, Control V if you are on a PC. 
Um, and now we have what's going to be the cushion base for our couches. Um, command V for paste. Uh, and this portion is going to be the base for the couch. We can do the same thing here. Command C, Command V. And that portion you can move to become the back of the couch. So honestly, work smarter, not harder, right? And you can just use what you've already created um, to support your design, which is kind of great. We'll add some variety in later and we will discuss how. And I'm gonna have that at a slight angle so it doesn't look so rigid. But once we hit play, oh gosh, it looks like one of those um, air couches from the 90s, the, um, the blow up plastic ones. You can do that, right? You also don't have to have it exactly in this setup. Um, you can tweak it, you can, um, oh gosh, I forgot to go back to the beginning. You can tweak it, you can, you can alter it in whatever way. Uh, maybe you want to duplicate and move over a cushion uh, to become the arm of the couch, right? Maybe we want to add some legs in. Um, if we go to add mesh cube, this can become a leg of the couch. Um, you can bevel those edges. You can extrude a face down and then bevel the edges. Um, this is still a little chunky, so I'm going to try to mess with the proportions on that a bit. Again, all of this is up to you and what you want your design to look like. Variety is key here. Have some fun. Um, really make it your own and to fit into your interior. I'll move that over a bit more. And again, we can kind of bevel those edges. Copied and pasted those. I'm gonna hold shift, copy and paste, and I've duplicated the back legs as well. I may tweak this face and um, make this edge a little bit longer. Any messing around that you do with proportions, um, or anything like that is only going to make your design stronger uh, and to give some variety to what it is you're creating. And then let's hit play. So I didn't give arms to my couch. I also think that this portion is a little bit puffier than I want it to be. It gets very soft, so I may go back Oh geez, and try to do this earlier in the process. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Um, you also, once you have done this, can go into your sculpting tools. And your sculpting tools will allow you to mess with this even further and add some variety even within these shapes themselves. You can deform them a little bit, and if you hover over, you'll see what each of the tools is. Um, you can smooth things, you can flatten them, you can fill parts of it, scrape, um, pinching. So I really like the these ones for what it is we're looking at. You can pinch portions, grab them, deform. Um, there is a cloth tool here that you can use to add some variety in that way. But definitely feel free to explore with your sculpting tools to allow you to actually paint on these surfaces with it and allow you to deform it and make it a little bit more individual than just this particular object. You also don't have to have the back be cushions at all. The back and the bottom of it could just be, you know, wood or a wooden support. You don't even really have to alter the leg supports in any way if, if you don't choose to. Um, all of this is really up to you and your design and how it fits into your room. So try it out. And of course, after this, you can add your materials and you can add, you know, add it into your lighting. Uh, and this should be constructed in your regular interior design scene.